says things like that? And the sea released the land, and there arose all creatures, trees as well as animals, wolves as well as sheep. But he knew that all along. These are bad times. I agree with you completely. What can I do for you? What are you selling? I can offer you everything you need to survive in the wild. Weapons, torches, provisions, even armor. I still have a special piece in stock. Double hardened armor of snapper leather. Still unused. Interested? What do you know about paladins? Since these bastards had come to the city, I've had nothing but trouble. The last time I was headed for the upper end of town, the guards flat out stopped me and asked me what was my business there. And? Of course they let me in. I had my shop in the city when most of those pompous asses were still chasing pigs with wooden swords. And yesterday, the bastards came and confiscated half of my goods. The paladin seized your goods. Everything I had stored in the backyard. They simply posted a guard in front of the entrance to the yard. If I'm lucky, they won't take everything. At least they might leave the armor here. Can you help me get into the upper quarter? What? What are you going to do there? I've got an important message. Well, well. Have you tried getting past the guards? I don't see why I should even try. You're probably right. I don't know how important your message is, and it's none of my business. But even if you told them that a ship full of orcs just anchored in the harbor, they'd send you away. Because they have their orders. So can you help me get into the upper quarter? It seems to be really important to you. The question is, how important is it to you? What are you getting at? I can help you. After all, I'm one of the most influential people here. But it'll cost you. How exactly can you help me? Quite simple. I'll use my influence to see to it that one of the master craftsmen here takes you on as an apprentice. As such, you'll practically be a citizen of the city and can enter the upper quarter. Besides which, you'll earn something while you're at it. Where could I sign on as an apprentice, then? Basically, with any master here on the main street. That would be Harrod the Smith, Bosper the Bowmaker, Thorben the Carpenter, or Constantino the Alchemist. One of them is bound to take you on. But it's important that the other masters agree. That's always been the custom here in Corinus. How do I get the approval of the other masters? You just have to convince them. Go and talk to them. But if more than one of them is against you, you don't stand a chance. So behave yourself. Is there another way to get into the upper quarter? Perhaps. If I think of anything, I'll let you know. Why don't you take me on as an apprentice? I would, but the other masters wouldn't agree. I just recently took on another apprentice. Don't tell me you didn't know that. What are you asking for your help? 100 gold pieces. You shark. Take it easy. It isn't your gold I have in mind. But? In principle, it's my gold. Gritta, the carpenter's niece, hasn't paid what she owes me in ages. But the little brat is constantly running around in new clothes. That means she has the money. I'd like to beat it out of her. But Master Thorben, the carpenter, is also a very influential man. Get me the money and I'll help you. Where can I find this Gritta? Like I said, she's the carpenter's niece. His house is down the street, the last house on the right before the smithy. Hey, you're new in town, huh? Yes, and what about you? I've come from the mainland, and now I'm hanging around here. 
I'm almost out of gold, so all I can do now is join the militia, I guess. But I don't want to do that. I won't be slaughtered by those orcs on the king's behalf. Nobody ever asked for my opinion. What can you tell me about the militia? One of the paladins has taken command. A certain Lord Andre. He's trying to mobilize half the city in case the orcs attack. But you need to be a citizen of the town in order to be admitted. As far as I know, if you're not a citizen, you can train anyway. But you won't be officially admitted. What else can you tell me about Lord Andre? He has taken over the position of judge as well. If you cause any trouble in this town, you're gonna have to answer to him. I was once in a brawl with a citizen. He went crying to Lord Andre and ratted me out. That little matter cost me 50 gold pieces. I was lucky that it happened at night, or others would have witnessed it. The more people complain about you in this town, the higher your penalty will be. Who did you fight with? With a fellow named Valentino. He often hangs out in the tavern near the temple. I'm not usually a violent person, but that guy needed his face rearranged in the worst way. Where did you pick that up then? Has anything exciting happened? You could say that. They robbed Bosper the Bowmaker. What a brazen thing to do, I tell you. The fellow just ambled into the shop in broad daylight and grabbed himself a bow. And Bosper right after him, hollering, Stop right there, you rogue! But the thief was too fast. Tell me you didn't know that. Welcome to my shop, stranger. I am Bosper. I craft bows and trade in furs. Hey, what brings you to Carinus? I'm in enough trouble as it is. I'm looking for work. Hmm. I could use a new apprentice. The last one just gave up his job two days ago. Do you know anything about hunting then? Well. I could teach you how to skin animals. I'll pay you well for every skin you bring me. But he knew that all along. Why did your apprentice give up his job? All he said was that it had become too dangerous out there. If you're really interested, then you can ask him yourself. His name is Bartok. He's probably hanging out near Corrigan's Tavern. Go through the underpass from the smithy, then you're headed straight for it. I need to get into the upper quarter. Where the paladins are? Forget it. You need to be a respected citizen here, or at least hold a decent job. As a stranger, you stand no chance of getting in. I want to start as your apprentice. Before I take you on, I need to know, of course, whether you're any good at all. I'd have gone about it differently. What do you want me to do for you? I will teach you how to skin an animal, and you will bring me, let's say, that. half a dozen wolf skins. Then I'll know that you have learned your trade. If it doesn't take you forever, and if the skins are in acceptable condition, I will take you on if you like. Teach me how to skin animals. Right. Listen. It's quite easy, really. You take a sharp blade and cut open the animal's belly. Then make a few small incisions on the inside of the legs, and you can peel off the skin. Bring me the wolf skins and we shall see. It can't go on like this forever. I've heard that someone stole from you. Who told you that? Probably Bartok, huh? Didn't he have anything better to tell you? Oh, well. Let me tell you, if I get hold of this bastard, he can say his prayers. I left the shop for only a moment. When I came back, I could only just see him leave with my bow on his shoulder. I called the guards right away, but the lowlife ran towards the harbor, and they lost him there. I lit a bonfire under their asses then, and they searched the entire harbor district. But they didn't find a thing. Those bumbling lackeys. I bet my bow is still in town somewhere. I informed the guards on both city gates, and they haven't seen anyone leave with my bow. When I get my hands on that bastard. I'd have gone about it differently. Show me your wares. That's been known a long time. It was just like you said. 
surprises me anymore. You mustn't believe everything you hear. That's all just gossip. I can't believe that. I never knew that. You didn't get that from me. I'd have thought about Show me your wares. I can't believe that. Will it ever change? Hey! Ah, fresh face. You're not from Corinus, are you? This is not a good time for travelers. Bandits everywhere. No work, and now the farmers have risen up too. What winds have blown you here? What do you know about the Paladins? Not much. They arrived by ship two weeks ago from the mainland. Since then, they have withdrawn to the upper end of town. Nobody here really knows exactly why they have come. Many are afraid of an attack by the orcs. I suppose, however, that they are here to quell the farmer's rebellion. I'm looking for work. Do you know anything about carpentry? The only thing I can make out of wood is a fire. And what about locks? Well... I'm sorry, but I can't use you if you know nothing about my trade and I have no money to pay for an apprentice. So, you know a lot about locks. What good is a fine chest without a fine lock? I make my own locks that way. I can at least be sure I haven't built my chest that sturdy for nothing. A poorly made lock is easy to break, and there are plenty of thieves about in Corinus, especially lately. What if I want to start an apprenticeship with one of the other masters here? All right, I shall give you my approval. But you had better get yourself the blessing of the gods first. Say, are you a man of faith? Well, if you mean, do I say my prayers regularly? I see. A man who does not ply his trade with the blessing of the gods will never receive my approval. Ask for the gods' forgiveness for your transgressions. Then go to Vatras, the priest of Adonos, and have him give you his blessing. He will tell you where you can find a priest of Inos. You should get his blessing, too. Once you have received the blessing of the gods, I shall vote for you. Can you teach me how to pick locks? Hmm, I don't know whether you can be trusted or not. For all I know, you might be one of those layabouts who only come to town to empty the chests of honest people. I'm not going to teach you anything before I'm convinced that you're an honest fellow. What do you want, stranger? If you've come to beg, I must disappoint you. I am a poor widow. My name is Gritta. Ever since my husband died, I have been running the household for my uncle Thorobin. Mateo sent me. You still owe him some gold. He wants his money? What for? The goods he delivered were flawed, bad fabric, and bad seams. And did you look at the colors? Those are not the colors I ordered. That's fraud, that is. Let me tell you, back when my husband was alive, he wouldn't have dared to do that. Oh, my poor husband. Such a good man he was. Handsome, hardworking, a gentleman of the old school. We had it all. Wealth, happiness. Sometimes we were even invited to high society events. The festivities. All the beautiful clothes and hairdos, the fine dining and civilized conversations. Everything was better back then. No one would have dared to humiliate the heart of a poor widow with such... Ridiculous claims. Whatever shall I do? My pension is barely enough to make ends meet, and times are getting even rougher. One sees it everywhere. 
people must scrimp and save. It's been weeks since the last ship came to town. My husband was the captain of a merchant ship. Actually, he even owned the ship. From his long journeys, he always brought me presents. Exquisite fabrics from the mainland. Precious spices from the southern countries. Most people haven't even heard of these things. But then, one day, I got the tidings that the Gritta had sunk. That was the name of the ship. My husband called it that out of love for me. I wept and prayed that my husband had survived the disaster. Every day I hoped to hear from him, but all my longing was in vain. May Innes have mercy on his soul. May he rest in peace. Since that time, I have been living under these modest circumstances. And now this soulless, callous Mateo is after the last bit of my life savings. Please have mercy on a poor woman. Back when my husband was alive, he wouldn't have dared to do that. Oh, my poor husband. Cut it out. Where's the gold? But I don't have the gold. I'm only a poor widow. I'm going to pay the sum for you. You would do that for me? Oh, I knew you weren't a greedy bastard like that Mateo. Yeah, yeah, never mind. Come back once you've taken care of that. I want to show you my gratitude. How's it going? Same as always, but I don't want to complain. Is it really true? I'm in enough trouble as it is. Do you really believe that? Here's your 100 gold pieces. You want to pay for her? <laughs> I'd have preferred it if you'd squeezed it out of her. Still, a hundred gold pieces is a hundred gold pieces. You've held up your part of the deal. Help me sign on as an apprentice with one of the masters. Don't worry. I'll keep my part of the bargain. The other masters will only hear the best about you from me. How about your approval, Master? Has Vatras given you his blessing? Not yet. Then I don't know why you're asking me again. You know me. Can you teach me how to pick locks? You have paid Gritta's debt with Mateo. You seem to be a decent fellow. I shall teach you what you want to know. However, I cannot do it for free. I still have a mountain of debts, and I need the money. How much do you charge? 200 gold pieces. Maybe later. Hey, new in the city, huh? I'm Brian. I'm Master Harrod's apprentice. What's it like to be the Smith's apprentice? Why do you ask? You want to be my successor? Maybe. Why not? I'm almost done with my apprenticeship, and then I'm going to leave the city. But not because of Harrod. He is a good master. I have learned a lot from him. Why do you want to leave this town? Because the people here are getting on my nerves, above all the other masters. I still remember what a fuss it was getting accepted as an apprentice with Harrod. Really, every one of them jokers had something to say about it. I want to decide for myself who I can or can't take as an apprentice. Who are the other masters? Well, there's Thorben the Carpenter, Bosper the Bowmaker, Constantino the Alchemist, and Matteo. He sells armor, but first of all, he's a merchant. All the masters have their houses here on the street, and Constantino's shop is in the underpass to the temple. You mustn't believe everything you hear. Tell me more about Master Harad. He's not in a very good mood right now. A few days ago, the paladins came and ordered him to forge some swords for them. They've even forbidden him to sell swords to anyone else. Now he slaves day and night to finish the job as quickly as possible. 
Can I buy weapons from you? Not really. I'm merely an assistant. The weapons that are made in this smithy are collected by the militia and taken to the towers where they're stored. But if it has anything to do with forging, maybe I can help you. What can I get from you? I can sell you some steel billets. Hey! I'm looking for work. Hmm. I could use a new apprentice. Brian will have finished his apprenticeship soon, and then he'll leave the city. Are you good for anything? If you mean, do I know blacksmith's work? No, that's not what I meant. Sooner or later, the orcs are going to lay siege to the city, and then the only men who will count will be those who are in a position to defend our city. And I won't take on anyone as an apprentice who will disgrace me by fleeing the city with the women and the good-for-nothings, instead of holding the fort here with the men. I'm not a good-for-nothing. Those are big words. Can you back them up with big deeds? What are you getting at? Bring me an orc's weapon. Orcs have been seen near the city. With a bit of luck, you won't have to search for long. If you manage to bring one down, I'll take you on as an apprentice, provided the other masters agree. Do you sell weapons too? Forget it. Everything I make goes to the paladins or the militia. I have a commission for 100 swords from Lord Hagen. He wants to equip the city guard. Hey, you! It was very noble of you to pay for me. I want to show you my gratitude. Here's a bottle of wine which my husband, may Enos rest his soul, brought back from the southern islands. Also, I'm going to spread the news around. At last, there's somebody in town who's virtue. Yeah, yeah, never mind. And so he set himself between his brothers in order to reconcile their dispute. And he did not succeed. There, where Adonis stood, was a place in which Enos and Beliar had no power. And in this place, order and chaos. The sea was created. What do you want? I'm not giving anything away. I'm in need of healing. Why? Are you injured? Yes. Go to Vatris then. He'll patch you up all right. And stop bleeding over my floor, please. I'm looking to become an apprentice. Really? And with whom are you going to sign up? I want to sign up with you as an apprentice. With me? No! I have already had the dubious pleasure once of grappling with an apprentice. That's quite enough for me. I invested several years in his education, and in the end, the poor fool up and poisoned himself. Go sign up with one of the other masters. What will I have to do to become your apprentice? <sighs> I couldn't bear yet another dilettante on my conscience. There is a multitude of herbs out there. Used in different variations, they develop the most diverse effects. You probably don't even know half of them. <sighs> Here. This is a list of the most important plants. Bring me a plant of each kind, and I might reconsider taking you in as an apprentice. Show me your wares.
but the human and the beast waged war upon the Tell me about the Ring of Water. Since you are not yet a member of our community, I cannot tell you everything, of course. But I shall tell you what I may. Who are the members of the Ring of Water, then? I cannot tell you that until you join the Ring. But you will certainly have met some of them by that time. Where are the other Water Mages? They are exploring the ruins of an old culture northeast of Corinus. We suspect that those ruins might contain a passage to a part of the island which is as yet uncharted. Tell me more about that uncharted area. If you're interested in joining the expedition, I could send you to Satyrus with a letter. You can only participate, of course, as long as you're one of us. Of course. What exactly is it that you do? We stand between the Order of Innos and the Chaos of Beliar. If one of the two sides should gain the upper hand, it will mean either total loss of freedom or deadly chaos. Therefore, we guard the balance between the two. That's what makes life in this world possible for all. And what does that mean in concrete terms? The fall of the barrier has evoked numerous threats. The bandits are probably the most obvious one. Not only has it become all but impossible to travel the island without being attacked, there's someone in town, too, who supports the bandits. We have found out that the bandits receive regular deliveries from a weapons merchant in Corinus. We try to find such people and keep them from endangering the city. If you can find out anything about this, let me know. Can you heal me? Adonis, bless this body. Free it of its wounds and strengthen it with new life. I'm asking your blessing. Why should I give you my blessing, stranger? I want to start an apprenticeship with one of the masters in the lower part of town. Go with the blessing of Adonis, my son. Where can I find the priest of Innos? The best thing would be to look around the marketplace. You will find an emissary of the monastery there. About the thief. Yes, how's it going? Have you caught him? And much more importantly, do you have my gold? These are bad times. I'm still working on it. Then see to it that you get my gold back. That's an open secret. Show me your wares. He can't keep anything to himself. Don't tell this to anyone. I can't take care of everything for everybody. And he works all day, too. And it's gonna get even worse. But that's terrible. Don't tell this to anyone. He can't keep anything to himself. Everybody knows by now. 
Now that's typical, isn't it? Now that's typical, isn't it? But that's terrible. Don't tell this to anyone. He'd better shut up. Don't tell this to anyone. About the thief. Yes, how's it going? Have you caught him? And much more importantly, do you have my gold? Talks too much. That's an open secret. He got away from me. And what about my gold? Did he get away with it? Here's the 50 gold pieces he stole from you. Inos be praised. There is still justice in the city. That's what I've always said. I want part of the gold as a reward. If it's gold you want, then hunt down the thieves and collect the bounty from Lord Andre. Now, I must get back to my customers. That's not what my husband did. What do you know about the Thieves' Guild? Right, listen up. You haven't heard anything of what I'm about to tell you from me, capiche? There are shady characters who frequent the Dockside Inn. I bet the landlord knows a thing or two. If you're planning to track down the thieves, you should go talk to him. You could act like you're up to something crooked, for example. Maybe he'll fall for it. But be very careful. These people are not to be trifled with. Go away, don't tell me that. That's not what my husband thinks. What can I do for you? Are you seeking spiritual comfort? Do you want to direct a prayer to our Lord Enos, or That's donate some secret. gold for his church? He can't keep anything to himself. Where do you come from? I come from the Monastery of the Magicians, which lies in the mountains. We accept everyone there who is pure of heart and feels the desire to serve our almighty Lord Enos. Now that's typical, isn't it? What are you doing in town? I have discussions with the paladins and support the citizens with my advice Go and away, with helpful words. Particularly in these difficult times, it is our duty to be there for the people and to help the poor. Don't tell this to anyone. Tell me more about the monastery. We instruct our students in all forms of magic, but the arts of the magicians of fire consist of more than these alone. We are also well versed in the art of alchemy and in the creation of powerful runes. <laughs> we also make excellent wine. Everybody knows by now. Tell me about Inos. Inos, our almighty lord, is the light and the fire. He chooses humans to be his tool, giving them magic and laws. We act in his name. We administer justice according to his will and preach his word. But that's terrible. That's what I've always said. So how much does a donation usually run to here? Well, that depends on what percentage you want to give, son. Let me see how much you brought. These are bad Hmm. You have more than a hundred gold pieces. The Lord says give if you have. The church accepts your generous donation. I bless you in the name of Inos, for he is light and righteousness. These are bad times. I can't take care of everything for I've come to get your blessing. That's good. That's good. Then you will probably want to donate gold to the holy church of Inos, won't you? Actually, I wanted your blessing so I can sign on as an apprentice in the lower part of town. But I have already given you my blessing, my son. Go with Enos, my son. Everybody knows by now. He'd better shut up. I need to talk to the paladins. Can you help me get to them? Well, you need access to the upper end of town. However, this is allowed only to citizens and the city guard. And, of course, to us, magicians of fire. How can I become a fire magician? You must join our order as a novice. When you have served for a time, perhaps you will be accepted into the ranks of the magicians. However, the path to acceptance is long and full of work and study. That's not what I heard. Someone's got to do the work. Don't tell this to anyone. Really, how interesting. So, doing all right? What else do you want? I didn't steal anything else, honest man. Now that's typical, isn't it? 
That's not what my husband thinks. But that's terrible. That's not How's it going? Heard. You're not from around here, are you? Never mind. That's Neither am I. Where did you hang around before? In the woods, hunting scavengers and wolves together with some hunters. But I gave it up. These are dangerous times. There's a lot of riffraff running around out there. says things like that? Where can I find the other hunters? We had our camp outside near the tavern, halfway to Onar's farm. But I don't know whether there is anyone left in the camp now. There used to be two of us here in town, until a few days ago. My friend Trokar is an excellent hunter. Bosper said you used to work for him. Yes, I did, but he was only interested in his blasted hides. I told him how dangerous it's gotten out there. He didn't really listen to me. Well, anyway, he paid well. I can't complain about that. Can you tell me anything else about him? That's not what I <laughs> Bosper had one of his bows stolen recently in broad daylight. Some guy just walked into his store, took a bow, and left. The thieves are getting more and more brazen. That's not what my husband Can you teach me something about hunting? I can teach you how to sneak properly and how to handle a bow. I can't take care of everything for everybody. talks too much. Why don't we go hunting together? Mm. With two, it isn't so dangerous, that's true. Do you know anything about hunting then? I mean, do you know how to skin an animal? Yes. All right, but I want to see 50 gold pieces. For that, you can keep the skins and sell them to Bosper. That's a fair deal, isn't it? Here they are. That's gonna get even worse. Someone's gonna do the work. Let's go hunting. All right, follow me. Outside the south gate is a wood where we should find That's more than enough happen. critters. Probably more than we like. I won't tell her a thing from now on. What a booty Martial law is immediately declared in all cities and regions of the realm. All civilian judges are to act over their duty. But Adonis saw that order and chaos were now unequal, and he bade Enos to take his divine power from the human. I already thought as much. He never would have thought of that himself. Nothing to be had there. Nothing there. So, what do you think? Should we go farther into the woods or not? Let's go on. All right. Let's hope this works out. Another one of those things. All right, so much for you, filthy beast.
Nothing there. That's it, I'm going back to the city. It's just too dangerous out here for me, even with two of us. An orc, right outside the city, holy shit. So, see ya. You can sell the skins to Bosper. Gonna rip you to pieces.
did you pick that up then? Will it ever change? I knew that would be a problem. About the wolfskins, I've got them here. Great! I knew you would be suitable for this job. Here's the pay I promised you. And what do you think? Isn't this better work than banging away at swords all day or filling little bottles in a dusty chamber? Do you really believe that? I want to start as your opponent. <laughs> Great. You see, Mud Harrod is Thorb. How about your approval, Master? Has Vatras given you his blessing? Yes. And did you also get the blessing of a priest of Inos? Yes, I did. Then you shall have my blessing as well. No matter what path you decide to take, take pride in doing a good job, my boy. Do you know anything about the Peasants' Rebellion? Rumor has it that Onar, the landowner, has hired mercenaries to keep the king's troops from breathing down his neck. He was probably tired of having to throw his harvest along with his livestock at paladins and militia. All we notice of this in town is that the food prices keep rising. Onar's farm lies far to the east of here. We wouldn't know if there's any fighting going on there. And if you want to know more, ask the merchants in the marketplace. They get around the island more than I do. 